Welcome back. Let's now write our very first line of code and build our very first and very small web page. So here we are back in VS Code and let's now close all of this up. And then we're going here to this first tab. So this Explorer tab. So in VS Code, we always need to be inside of some folder. And that folder is called the project folder. Now, right now, we don't have any folder started yet. And so let's actually start by doing that. And I will create a folder right here on my desktop. So basically, I will do all the, all the coding will always happen here on my desktop. But of course, you can also do it in any other place on your computer. This one doesn't really matter. For me, it's just easier to have it uh, on the desktop. And I'm calling this folder here 01 and test. Okay, so let's go back here and now click on open folder. And so going to my desktop, I will now select this folder that I just created. And so this uh, 01 test is now our project folder. So you see, we get a new welcome screen. And here we can click on new file to add our very first file to the project. Or we could also do this by hovering here over this left sidebar and clicking here on the new file icon. So these are two different ways of creating new files in the project folder. And I actually prefer uh, this one here. So we are about to create our very first web page. And a web page is basically just an HTML file. And let's call it index.html. So it's basically just a file with the HTML file extension. And we are calling it index because that is the default name of the first page of any website. So index is basically always the entry point to any website. And so all web projects always need to have an index.html. All right, so keep that in mind. Always call your very first page index.html. Now, my goal in this lecture is not yet to really teach you HTML. Right now, all I want to do is to create this file and to add a little bit of code to it and then see the result in the browser just so you get to write your first line of code and are able to see the result of writing that code in a real web browser. So again, I'm not really starting to teach HTML just yet. And so instead of writing a whole page structure as we usually need to, we are going to use a small cheat that we can use in VS Code. So to do that, just write an exclamation mark. So just like this, and then you can hit tab on your keyboard or you can also uh, just click here. And with that, we get this very basic and almost empty HTML structure. So it has a head and it has a body. But once again, we will learn all about that a little bit later. For now, all I'm interested here is uh, for now this title of the web page. So let's change the content here of this title to, for example, my first web page. But of course, you can also write something else here. And then let's go inside of the body. So this is actually the part that we will be able to see in the browser. And here, just write this uh, less than sign, then h1, which stands for heading one, and then the greater than symbol. So just like this one here. And you see that then uh, VS Code actually automatically placed this uh, other part here. So closing the H1, basically. But again, that doesn't really matter for now. Let's just write some text content in here. And I'm writing hello world, which is kind of a standard when you write your very first line of code in any programming language. So hello world is really uh, a long standing tradition. Next, let's try another one. So again, this less than symbol. Now let's try P, which stands for paragraph. 
And then again, VS Code automatically closes the paragraph for us. So let's say my name is Jonas, and you will of course use your own name. And this is my very first web page. Okay, now we can give it a save by hitting Command or Control S, or you can go here to the file menu uh, as well. And we also have the autosave active. So if we just leave this tab, so for example, by clicking outside here, then it will also automatically save the file. So let's actually try that. And here we go. So now the file has been saved and maybe you also noticed that the formatting has changed here a little bit. And this happened because of the Prettier extension that we installed in the last video. So remember that the Prettier extension is to format our code automatically whenever we save it. And so that is exactly what just happened. So let's just add some spaces here. And now if I hit Command or Control S again, then you see it put it back in the correct place. All right. And so that's the power of Prettier and it will ensure that your code uh, should always look the same as this code in the video. Great. So we just wrote our very first line of code or actually our first two lines of code. And so now we have this index.html file and we can open it up in a browser. So let's go to our project folder where this file is located. And in my case, remember that's on the desktop. So I can just open it. And now here we have that index.html file that we created previously in VS Code. And to now open it up in Google Chrome or in any other browser, we just need to double click the file or we can just also right click it and then open with uh, Google Chrome. So let's do that. And here it is. Here is our very first web page that we just created manually in VS Code. Great. And that's really amazing if you ask me. So congratulations and well done on your very first web page here. Let's just uh, push it to the side here a little bit and then VS Code to the other side. So from now on, we will always have or code here on the left side and then on the right side the browser so that we can see our changes. And to give us a bit more space here, we can uh, again click on this tab here and that will then collapse this sidebar and give us more space for our actual code. So you see that here we have this hello world uh, in big and bold text and so that corresponds here to this h1 uh, element and then Below that we have this paragraph which is uh, translated here into this visual element. We also have the actual title of the page here uh, in the title of this tab. So my first web page is what we have here and that is exactly what we typed here into the title element, right? And so one more time the code that we wrote here in our HTML document is now reflected in the real world in this real web browser. And speaking of the web browser, I'm using Google Chrome to test all the code that we're gonna write throughout this course. And so I really advise you to also use Google Chrome to always test the code that you are writing. So that will again ensure that you have the exact same results as you are seeing in the course videos. Okay, and this is actually enough for this very first coding video. And I hope that you really get the ideas that I wanted to show you in this lecture. So basically starting from creating a project folder, then opening up that project folder in VS Code. So in this folder here, the test folder, then inside of that creating an HTML file, then adding some code to that file, and finally, opening up the HTML document in a real browser, such as Google Chrome, where we then see this result. So basically the translation of our code to a visual result. So I hope that you had some fun doing this and I see you in the next video.